me give you a quick lemma on a way to a theorem and a pretty decent theorem uh, that falls right out of protractor postulate. Uh, if you draw the picture, this makes a lot of sense, so take a moment to draw the picture. While you do, I will. So there's a line AB. C and D are on the same side of line AB. D is not on ray AC. So D can be any point that's not on this ray that's in this half plane. So maybe it's here. Then either C is in the interior of BAD or D is in the interior of angle BAC. Um, a quick note, I'm using uh, the smart software, the smart notebook software, and they don't have an angle symbol. Uh, when you type up problem sets for me, use the angle symbol. Uh, in LaTeX, it's backslash angle. In Microsoft Word, there's an equation editor that has an angle symbol. Use the angle symbol. Like if you're typing in a discussion in Canvas, we know what that means. But when you're typing something up for real, use the angle symbol. Okay. So we're trying to prove a conclusion with a disjunction. So we assume that this doesn't happen and show that that does. We assume that this does not happen. C is not in the interior of angle BAD. And we show that D must be in the interior of angle BAC. So how do we do that? Well, what's the interior of angle BAC? We would have to show that D is in. So let's take a look at what the interior of angle BAC is. It's the half plane, oh, let's say it in a nicer way. The interior of angle BAC is the C side of line AB and the B side of line AC. So we want to show that D is in the interior of angle BAC which means it's on the C side of line AB and on the B side of line AC. Well, what does that? What sets that up for us? We know that C and D are on the same side of line AB. So we know that D is on the C side of line AB. That is true. Getting this part. So we, we assumed that C was not in the interior of angle BAD. If C were in the interior of angle BAD, Now let's, let's draw the scenario. Here's angle BAD. If C were in the interior of BAD, then D could not be on the B side of line AC. B and D would have to be on opposite sides of line AC. But because we assumed that this is not true, then D must be on the B side of line AC. If B and D were on opposite sides of line AC, that specifically puts C in the interior of BAD. And so this argument establishes the lemma. And that lemma leads to a theorem, and the theorem has the same assumptions as the lemma. A, B, C, and D are four distinct points. 
C and D are on the same side of line AB, like so. Then, the measure of angle BAD is less than the measure of angle BAC, if and only if AD is between AB and AC. Uh, that's actually not terribly difficult to show. It falls right out from protractor postulate. Um, I'll prove the one way. Uh, let's, let's prove it going this way first. Uh, we'll assume that ray AD is between ray AB and ray AC. Protractor postulate says that the measure of angle CAD plus the measure of angle DAB is equal to the measure of angle CAB. Uh, that's the protractor postulate. That's the betweenness part. And we know that, what do we want? We want BAD less than BAC. We know this is a positive number. And if this is a positive number and these two add to that, then the measure of angle BAD has to be less than the measure of angle CAB. And we've got it. Uh, to prove the other way goes by contrapositive. Uh, so we use the contrapositive and we get it that way. It's a similar argument. Okay, a couple of theorems that fall right out from protractor postulate. Hope they're helpful.